Gotta get me some data, gotta get it now. StatQuest, yeah. Hello, I'm Josh Starmer and welcome to StatQuest. Today we're going to talk about the U.S. Census data and competition. Note, this StatQuest has two parts. First, I'll show you some awesome data sets that are free and anyone can access. Second, if you're a high school student or teacher residing in the U.S. or U.S. territories, I'll show you how you can use this data to enter a contest and have a chance to win $5,000 in prizes. You know the deal. You're sitting at home on a terrible chair that makes your back hurt, and you have a data science project due soon. That means you need some data. There are lots of places to get data these days, but two cool places are censusreporter.org and data.census.gov. Bam! The links are in the description below. Let's start by taking a look at censusreporter.org. Here's the website for censusreporter.org. It's jam-packed with cool summarizations of census data. Since I live in Orange County, North Carolina, let's check out the census data for Orange County, North Carolina. At the top of the results, we see the overall population size. Scrolling down, we see that population broken down into different units. For example, we see that 53% of the people that live in Orange County, North Carolina are female. By clicking on Show Data, we can then see that that percentage is high relative to the state and the country. Scrolling down even further, we see that the median household income is 74,299, and this is larger than the average for the entire state. If we want to, we can break this into smaller units, or we can just scroll down and see more summary statistics for Orange County. In summary, for Orange County, North Carolina, we saw two things. One, the percentage of females, 53%, is higher than the state average. And two, the median household income is higher than the state average. Does this mean that the more females we have living in a county, the larger the median income? In order to answer this question, we need to download some data, and the best place for that is data.census.gov. So let's take a look at it. Here's an example of using data.census.gov. In this example, let's type in income. The first thing we get is the median household income for the entire United States. Now we need to break that down into smaller pieces. We can do that by clicking on the Customize Table button and then clicking on the Geo button. Select County, then select the state we're interested in. In this case, that's North Carolina. And then we select all counties in North Carolina. Now we have income data for every single county in North Carolina. In order to download the data, we simply click on the Download button and then click on the Download Now button. In this example, we just downloaded the median household income per county in North Carolina. Then, I downloaded the number of males and females in each county. Then I combined the percentage of females in each county with the median income in each county. This outlier, which has a lot fewer females than the other counties in North Carolina, is home to a very large marine base, Camp Lejeune. Anyway, looking at the remaining counties makes me suspect that the percentage of females is not related to the median household income. This might seem like a bummer, because it's a negative result. However, We've used the census data to tell a story. Using census data for North Carolina, we see the percentage of females in a county does not appear related to the median income. It's not a fancy story, but it's still a story. And now that we have a story from the data, 
we can submit it to the Let's Make It Count National Census Data Competition. Bam! Oh no, it's a small print alert. Note, the Let's Make It Count National Census Data Competition is open to high school students and high school teachers based in the United States and U.S. territories. Also note, the contest ends on January 1, 2021, so get your entry in ASAP. Step 1. Sign up for the contest. To sign up, you go to letsmakeitcount.org, then click on Join the Competition. Then click on Join the Competition again, and scroll down to create your account. Creating an account is easy. You enter your email, your super secret password, confirm your super secret password, and then your first and last name. Then click Sign Up. Bam! Step 2. Put together your census data story. Our census data story starts with Orange County, North Carolina. We saw that the percentage of females, 53%, is higher than the state average. And we saw that the median household income is higher than the state average. But, statewide, the percentage of females appears to be independent of the median household income. Note, this is just one way to tell a story with census data. If you are better with words than pictures, then you can write your story out. The point being, you should tell the story the way that works best for you and submit it. And that leads us to step three. Submit your census data story to the contest. When you're ready to submit your data story, go back to the letsmakeitcount.org website, click Join the Competition, then click Join the Competition again, and then scroll down and click on Have an Account, Sign In. Then just type in your email and password and sign in. Now, scroll down and enter your first name, last name, and email address, city, state, or territory, and the name of your high school. Beep, beep, boop. The next thing you need to do is upload your data story by clicking on the Choose Files button. Lastly, just verify that you're eligible and you agree with the terms, and then click Join the Competition. For more information, resources, and help, check out the Let's Make It Count virtual summit at letsmakeitcount.org slash summit. And if you don't mind a little shameless self-promotion, check out the StatQuest statistics fundamentals videos and playlists at statquest.org. Triple bam! Hooray! We've made it to the end of another exciting StatQuest. If you like this StackQuest and want to see more, please subscribe. And if you want to support StackQuest, consider contributing to my Patreon campaign, becoming a channel member, buying one or two of my original songs or a t-shirt or a hoodie, or just donate. The links are in the description below. Alright, until next time, quest on!